Connor, starting off with that uh, great win on Tuesday against Rochdale. Yeah, great result. Um, we knew the threats they'd bring, but I thought we were excellent. I thought we dominated physically. Uh, we kept an intensity they couldn't live with, and we had a lot of entries into their box, and it probably could have been more, but we're really pleased with performance and the three points. It was a big three points going into, obviously, a cup game tomorrow. Callum Stead with both goals, 4-4, four and four, 11 of the season. He's really feeling the confidence at the minute. Yeah, he's been brilliant, isn't he? He was performing well all season. A um, little bit of inconsistency, which comes with obviously young players coming up to a new level. But he wants to score. We always say it. He, he runs the goal. He makes good movement. He presses centre half all the time. He's always a nuisance. So we know he's going to get the chances. Just obviously he's just got to keep taking more and more of them. And obviously of late he's been taking a couple more than he has been previous. So we're pleased with him. And he's obviously got a good goal return. So fair play to him. He's got to keep working out. And on Wednesday it was announced that he'll be called up to the England C squad. A proud moment for him and a proud moment for everyone associated to Barnet Football Club. Yeah, definitely. Listen, it's a testament to what he's been doing. As I said, he's progressed brilliantly over the season. He keeps improving and keeps improving. That's obviously what we look for in young players. So. He's doing a great job, he's got to keep doing what he's doing. As I said, he wants to score goals, he'll keep doing that if he keeps performing the way he has been. Now we look on to tomorrow, big quarter-final against Bromley, second versus third in the table. How much are you and the boys looking forward to this one? Yeah, it's exciting. Obviously, we know what happened last year. We obviously got to the semi-final, so we're, we're obviously hoping to do one better this year. Uh, and that starts with tomorrow, so it's, it's going to be a tough game. They're, they are where you are in the league because they're a good side. Um, Wooden, Wooden was doing a brilliant job over there. they got some excellent players, uh, especially in the top end. Um, they defend really well as well, so they're a good side. They've got a lot of young players as well that are a lot of energy, a lot of legs, good intensity. They're a good side. It'll be a really tough test. We know, obviously, when we played in the area in the season, they weren't in a great place. They're obviously doing a lot better now, so we know the task is going to be a hand. It's a really tough game, so we're looking forward to it. Just touched on there, we have already won there earlier this season. What sort of differences can we expect from the Bromley, Bromley we played earlier this season and the one we'll face tomorrow? Uh, just looking from the last time, 11 to when we played with just four or five different players within that, so that's almost half the team they've changed. So there's a lot of new personnel and they've obviously improved in key areas. So testament to their recruitment, they've done a brilliant job recruiting some really good players. And um, yeah, as I said, they're playing really well. I don't know, obviously, I believe Charles, he'll be um, cup tied, sorry for them. Obviously, the lad they signed from Wheelstone, we know him well. So he's a loss for them, but obviously we've got our own issues with injuries and cup tied ourselves. So it'll be a good game. Listen, second be fair, it's a good, good prospect. Obviously, we have a lot of fans down there supporting us on, but we're hoping to go one more than we were did last year. So. A lot of teams who are challenging for promotion tend to disregard the cup or use the cup to give other players minutes. It's a competition that we've taken seriously all the time. How much are you looking forward to the challenge of trying to get us to go one step further than last year's semi-final? Um, yeah, this is, we've take, we always take every game uh, as important. Obviously, we don't, we don't turn our nose about any competition or any game. We always just look to our next game, whether it be the FA Trophy or a league game. So we've done that all season, we've done it last season, we'll continue to do the same. So we um, we don't take it lightly. We see it as a competition that's a, it's a good one to go and attack. Obviously, we knew Chesterfield, having speaking to their manager, would, would not take it as serious. Obviously, they had aspirations to get into the league, like we all do, but they just wanted to focus everything on the league, so fair play to them. But now we are the highest ranked team left in it, and it's obviously second v third in the league. So it's a great tie, and you obviously got to feel whoever comes out on top of this will be favourite to go on and win it. Harry Pritchard could be set for his 100th appearance for Barnet this weekend. How much of a great servant has he been for the football club? It's been immense. Even, even that, obviously, it's only his second season here and to already amassed that many games is, is a credit to him and obviously his professionalism off the pitch. So to make himself available for that many games in such a short time is unbelievable. So he's been brilliant in his performances. He's scored a lot of goals. Obviously, he's got double figures again this season. So we're so pleased with what he's done for us and he'll play a lot of games for, obviously in the future for the club as well, hopefully. And then finally, uh, can we expect anyone back from the injury list this weekend? We've got people close. Um, a couple might join us on the bench. Obviously, not probably fit enough to start. So we're pretty much moving forward with a similar group to what we were on Tuesday and the and previous Saturday. So, listen, the lads have been doing excellent. We know obviously the reinforcements are coming back, so we look forward to that. But at the minute, the lads that have been playing have been doing a brilliant job for us, and we keep picking up points. And obviously, tomorrow we've got to try to get to the next round of the competition. Connor, thank you for your time. Cheers,